During the Pliocene, about 5 million years ago, the present Po Valley was filled up by the Adriatic Sea, which reached far down into the foothills of the Alps. The particular geographical location of that gulf favored the proliferation of the marine life, with a rich and well-diversified fauna, consisting of numerous species of mollusks, corals, brachiopods, crustaceans, starfish and sea urchins, fish and cetaceans. About 1-2 million years ago, the Adriatic Sea pulled back from Castellarquato. The latest inhabitants of that sea were cold climate typical animals, such as the Bivalve Arctica Islandica, today no longer present in the Mediterranean Sea, but still widespread in the north of the English Channel. The marine environment turned then into swamp and alluvial plain, around which an equally rich and well-diversified fauna of vertebrates thrived, whose fossil remains, in many cases, have been preserved to this day. The evidence of this extraordinary fossil record is now, for the most part, preserved in the Museo Geologico of Castellarquato. The museum is located in a 16th century building, the Hospitale Santo Spirito. It has the purpose to promote the preservation, the study and the enhancement of the local paleontological heritage at the provincial level. The Arda Torrent is like an open book on the geological history of the territory. The strata that you encounter traveling from the town of Castellarquato towards the valley contain fossils typical of the sea gradually becoming less profound and document the gradual emergence of the territory. The upper middle part of the Pleistocene sequence of the river, in the last few years, various remains of rhinos and deer, bears and bovids preserved in the basic layers of the continental series, have been brought to light. These remains speak to us of the most ancient inhabitants of the newly formed Po Valley. The primitive Pleistocene fauna of the upper Po Valley sees the coexistence of species of Pliocene origin, which will disappear completely toward the end of the lower Pleistocene.
and is characterized by the presence of elephants, rhinos, hippos, the first canids, large cats, bovids, and various species of cervids, including the megachero. At the end of the last glacial episode, about 10,000 years ago, the temperature undergoes a substantial increase and the climate becomes milder. In this way, the action of man is accentuated, which begins to modify the natural balances, transforming the environment to its needs, conditioning the animal population and intervening directly on the faunas and obtaining new and various races. Today, the fauna that lives around the water course has completely changed and although subjected to a strong anthropic pressure, is still composed of a rich variety of birds, which are flanked by badgers, foxes, roe deer, hares, martens, wild boars, and porcupines. In the steep sandy slopes of the creek, the kingfisher and a large colony of bee eaters nest while the riparian groves offer shelter to the hoopoe, to different species of woodpecker, and to the rare golden oriole with its yellow plumage. Among the diurnal birds of prey, there are buzzards, kestrels, and also stonehawks in winter, while along the river live grey herons, egrets, cormorants, and mallard ducks. There were once large group of fish swimming, where a swarm of birds are now flying. Leonardo da Vinci wrote admiringly in his famous Lester Code. Just like that, the medieval village of Castello Quarto, which is built on the foundation of an ancient sea, and the Alda Valley tell us an ancient story, where the traces of man intersect with those of living beings that before him populated these same places. <laughs> 